source of it? Where does it all come from? Um, I think it's just Mancunians and Scousers just don't like each other. It's as simple as that. Um, uh, they, they just don't get on. Um, I think it may be something to do with because the teams are two very successful football clubs. Um, and, you know, we hate losing against each other, so you know, once that, uh, that first whistle goes, um, all the friendships you've got uh, on international level all go out the window and you know, you've got a battle for 90 minutes. You're sort of representing your, your city, really, aren't you? Yeah, that's what it is. It's bragging rights in the city. Um, and because the two top football clubs and there's so much at stake, there's world-class players on both sides, um, you know, it's a game you dare not lose. Do you get a bit more pressure from your, your friends and relatives? Yeah, of course. I mean, Everton and Manchester United, uh, when the fixtures come out in the league, they're the two two teams you always look against. And, you know, a cup tie against them is that extra bit special because it's, uh, you know, you've got the chance of knocking them out of a big cup. I don't know whether you like stats or not, but uh, you haven't beaten them in the FA Cup since 1921, apparently. A great chance to do it Saturday then, isn't it? Um, you know, as a player, you like um, rewriting history and making a name for yourself, so yeah, I'll remind the boys of that stat before the game and hopefully it'll spare us on. Ivan Gaskell posing the questions there. Um, Stephen Gerrard, 18 goals in 38 this season, a big player, one that United will have to stop. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I'm, yeah, I remember Sir Alex Ferguson talking about not so long back, said he's the one player he'd love to take to his team, yeah. and he quickly shot him down in flames. But, Terrific, 18 goals from, from midfield and playing not in his probably preferred position on the right hand side as well. He's, he's huge and when you know, we saw the, the was a game against Wigan when he wasn't playing, they missed him that much. He's, uh, well, the fans will be pleased he's, he's out there today. Righty, do you think Liverpool have the edgy midfield? I definitely think so, you know, especially um, with Gerrard's quality. You know, I mean, I'm not taking nothing away from the quality of Manchester United, but when you're talking about that, that kind of goal return from midfield and the passing range he's got, what he does for the team. And, you know, if, if Manchester United had Steve Gerrard in their team, you'd have to say that they'd be well up there challenging, I personally feel. Overall, he had a bad game the other week, he was only brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> overall, overall defensive <laughs> Liverpool have been strong, but you're quite concerned about this zonal system they adopt from set pieces. Well, there is a weakness there somewhere. There was a goal against Chelsea, the goal against Birmingham that they lost, but if you look at the picture here, there's 11 Liverpool players in that picture, and yet there just still gets a run and a free header. The ball comes long into the box. That's what I'm talking about. You know, he should have scored there. And then, on Tuesday night, we pick up Turi. There's only nine in the picture this time, but again, back post, free run, free header, might have scored. And then the goal against Liverpool, Old Trafford, Rio Ferdinand, Enough bodies in there, it's a great header, gives the goalkeeper no chance and we can see from here how good a header it is, but you can also see how many white shirts are in there. Mm. And, you know, Manchester United will have been working this during the week. The, 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 there is a slight flaw there. Um, so, okay, Gary knows about zonal defending, yeah. he'll tell you all about it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I've, I've played that. I remember playing that at Middlesbrough in my early days and you've got to rely on everybody to attack right. the ball and you know, you know what it's like being a striker guys and plenty of times you don't actually want to do that dirty work back at the, the other end of the pitch but also if somebody blocks if, <laughs> yeah, if somebody blocks the run of the defender you yeah. put an attacker in to block the run of the defender then yeah. you're in big trouble OK Mr Hanson you've pointed out that Liverpool throughout is defending um, oh I'm still going for Liverpool you're worried about <laughs> the strike force, but you're going I'm always ball. negative but I'm going to go for Liverpool yeah. Wholeheartedly. I think, as I said, you know, Benitez, the Liverpool supporters are coming to expect to win, and I fully expect them to win today. It'll be a great atmosphere out there at uh, Pali and uh, Manchester United, for you, no doubt. Uh, after the draw, I think it'll be a draw today and take them back to Old Trafford and, and win the replay. Huh. Uh, is the neutral amongst us, although you've yeah, already. When, with, Wayne Rooney, with Wayne Rooney in your, time, in your, in your side, yeah, I, you always fancy, fancy Man United, but um, I might be going out in Liverpool tonight, so as a hit, <laughs> I really do fancy Liverpool. I really do feel that Liverpool will be up so, for it. So tonight. really, you've covered yourself there. You've got to go for the two of them. Yeah, because I've gone for Manchester United and Liverpool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, to and a draw. Yeah. And a draw, yeah. It's, it's an early kick-off, but the um, spectators are warming up nicely. For it, this, this one really counts for them. Well, there's a tremendous you know, atmosphere in the ground already. You know, and once the teams come out, there'll be a crescendo of noise like you'll never believe. And, and we just hope it's going to be better in the Premiership matches we've had. Uh, but there's enough, as I said at the top, there's enough class and quality on the pitch like to make it enthralling and pulsating for everybody. OK, the um, teams are making their way towards the tunnel, so um, here we go. Liverpool versus Manchester United for a place in the quarter-finals of the FA Cup. 
Our commentary team here at Anfield, Mark Lawrenson and John Watson. Well, thank you very much, Gary. And uh, they are, as you've said, the closest and sometimes the bitterest of rivals. But as Ivan Gaskell said to Steven Gerrard, it's 85 years since Liverpool beat Manchester United in the FA Cup. It's strange, really, that the last victory in 1921 for Liverpool predates the existence of Northern Ireland, Einstein's Nobel Prize and the creation of Chanel No. 5, all of which occurred later in the same year. It's been a very long way, doesn't it? Since then, the clubs have met seven times in the competition, all since World War II. United have won every time. And these Liverpool fans know that twice they've lost in semi-final replays, twice they've lost in the final itself. 1996, Liverpool turned up in those infamous white suits, but they're coming out here in their red shirts, knowing that uh, so much for the history, but this is a completely different occasion. And as they're greeted by this all-ticket crowd, who said that the FA Cup is losing its appeal? Great reception. That's the Liverpool end, and at the Manchester United end, there are 6,000 supporters taking up the full visiting allocation of 15%. They're at the Anfield Road end, and they know that Manchester United have had a full week to prepare for this. They also have a free week next week, whereas Liverpool played Arsenal here on Tuesday and travelled to Lisbon on Monday to play Benfica the following day in the Champions League. How significant is that, Mark Lawrence? Well, I think it'll certainly concentrate the minds, John, and I think from Liverpool's point of view, this stage of the season, all you want are big games whether it's midweek, whether it's weekend. I think, as you rightly say about Manchester United, the fact they've had a week to repair. Great atmosphere, great occasion. Let's hope it's a great game. And let's check on the two teams. For Liverpool, Reina returns in goal after his three-game suspension. Xavi Alonso is resting a slight injury in order to be fit for Benfica. So Dietmar Harman starts in midfield and Peter Crouch returns after injury to partner Mori enters up front. Well, while Gary Neville on his 31st birthday returns after injury, Rio Ferdinand is ruled out, as Gary said, a troubled hamstring. So it's Brown and Vidic at the back. Kieran Richardson comes into midfield in place of G. Sun Park. And on the bench, there's Luis Garcia, who scored the late winner against Arsenal, along with the expensive Cissé. And for Manchester United, there's uh, Sahar, who's been in good scoring form. And among others, Alan Smith. Now then, the referee. He was addressed through the morning papers by Sir Alec Ferguson. It's Howard Webb. He's had plenty to deal with recently. He took charge of Arsenal versus Bolton at Highbury last weekend. And there were one or two tackles there that uh, he had to deal with. And the two assistants with him there, Glenn Turner, who will be on the near side, and Dave Babsky on the far side. And Gary Neville, who got the raucous reception we expected when he first came out to warm up has now taken the toss with uh, Steven Gerrard now Mark what are you expecting from the, a good pitch by the way here do you think yeah it's a good pitch John it looks like there's a bit of moisture in it as well so it'll be zippy in terms of passing and that might just accelerate the pace of a game hopefully because the two league games between these two sides and so far this season have been rather anodyne affairs Rafael Benitez making notes already there on the touchline. Studio Spaniard and uh, Manchester United in their train strip, all blue, playing from left to right. The last FA Cup meeting was in 1999 in the fourth round when Manchester United won with two very late goals. Neville gets the bird. And Crouch and Morientes pushed up front in what looks like a 4-4-2. Steven Gerrard wide on the right. That was Sylvester for Manchester United. Now Jamie Carragher. And for Manchester United, two up front there as well, Mark Rooney and Van Nistelrooy. Yeah, just as you expect. Ronaldo started on the left-hand side, John, as well. Yes, he has. And uh, Ryan Giggs in the 
more central midfield position where he played at Portsmouth in the first half last week. As Mori enters with Brown. Just looking at Manchester United, actually, I wonder if they're trying to get Rooney just to push up a little bit more right-hand side, because I think Fletcher, Giggs and Richardson seem to be the three in midfield. Yes, at the moment, that's the case, with Richardson to the left of Giggs. And Sissoko with Richardson. It was on by Gerrard. It was back by Brown. Two clubs met a month ago at Old Trafford. And it was uh, a Rio Ferdinand goal that separated them. He's absent today. Also, just a reminder that Robbie Fowler is cup-tied, having played and scored a hat-trick, in fact, for Manchester City in the third round, although he would be available for the European game on Tuesday. It's a free kick to Liverpool. And Peter Crouch, an obvious target. Players having to shield their eyes against the sun. aimed at Peter Crouch, half got there but uh, Morientes couldn't latch on to it. This is Ronaldo, he's coming in for some treatment early on, four goals in the last two games. Hippia. And you know who this is. Oh, he's taken a whack from Harry Kill. Harry Kewell on Gary Neville. I think he might be fortunate. I don't think he's going to get a yellow. That's it for the referee. That sets the standard then, doesn't it? A little bit. <laughs> Howard Webb's just telling Gary Neville to uh, take the ball back. Oh, we've got somebody being restrained on the touchline here. It looks like Carlos Quiros down there, who had to be pulled back by a couple of... Uh, well, by possibly the fourth official. Obviously, some anger down there on the Manchester United bench. Now then, far side here. It's Richardson to Silvest. And away by Dietmar Harman. I think that challenge, John, really, what Kiros is trying to say is what constitutes a yellow card, if that doesn't. Well, uh, when Mr Webb was in charge of Highbury last week, one or two people were asking what constitutes a red. But uh, anyway, it was the first meaningful challenge of the day. Neville looks pretty unmoved by it, I have to say. Fletcher. Incidentally, if this match was drawn, the replay would be delayed three and a half weeks because of European and international commitments. It's the kick by Pepe Reina. Sissoko. Roy's touch, Richardson, now Ronaldo, up against Finnan. Sylvester made a forward run, this has come off Gerard. surprises in the formations, Mark? No, just the fact that uh, 
almost when they've lost the ball, Manchester United, they, they have five in midfield, as we suggested before, with Rooney being on the right-hand side, really. Just down the centre at the moment, as uh, Hitia heads clear. Sissoko challenged by Richardson, who initially won the ball and then got a free kick. Giggs on the ball. It's interesting, United with this free kick. Both the central defenders haven't gone up. Oh, and that's the third. Oh, and Pepe Reina had to snatch. Ronaldo trying his luck from distance, but uh, the ball just came off the goalkeeper a bit. This is Morientes. Here's Ronaldo again. Harmon. Oh. Gerard did well against Fletcher. Now Harmon again. But this is a tall order for Harry Kuhl. Oh, a bit of disagreement between Neville and Van der Sar there. I think Neville never wanted him just to kick it, and Van der Sar would say, why don't you stick it on my right foot, not my left? Both made their feelings known. This is Harmon. Teresa. Rooney gets back. As uh, Mark said, he's dropping down on the right-hand side when Liverpool have the ball. Morientes and Crouch poised by the penalty spot here for the long throw, but it's uh, an option he's got. Here's Crouch. Morientes came in too far. And Sylvester released Ronaldo. Oh, he's taking them on. Three of them. Then he was fouled by Sissoko, who's on nine yellow cards. He got another one today. It would be a further suspension. I think Mr. Webb's going to be trying to be very lenient today. No doubt it was a foul. I think he's having a word, which is do that again and you get a yellow. I say he's uh, controlled the games I've been at very well, Howard Webb. He doesn't uh, snatch for the card straight away if he can avoid it. Ryan Giggs puts the ball down. Van Nistelrooy has wandered into an offside position for a moment. He'll doubtless come back. Three others up there, including Vidic. Silvest is up, but nearly came to Vidic. I just wonder there, John, whether it actually clipped John Arnarisa on the hand. I think Manchester United are complaining that it did. It's suspicious, it's a corner in actual fact. They're not uh, prolonging the protest, and Giggs has come across to take it. Van Nistelrooy is in the six-yard box. Ronaldo waiting to come in with Vidic and Brown. Liverpool reach this stage by beating Luton in that exciting third round game, 5-3. And then a uh, more functional performance at Portsmouth. And then... Uh, Risa here. Oh, no, I'm not so sure, Mark. No, I think just caught him on the thigh, didn't it? I think so. Manchester United beat Burton Albion, of course, in the third round in a replay and then won comfortably at Wolves. Here's Kuehl. Morientes. Rooney. Wigan. As I said, they've got a full week to prepare for that, having been eliminated from Europe at an early stage. Here's Morientes. And now kill. Decent ball in off 
It was Wes Brown who cleared hurriedly from Crouch. Steven Gerrard will come across to take this corner. And it's Sizoko who goes in on the goal line with Kill. Sammy Hippier is for Oh, so they're climbing there on the far side, I think, by Peter Crouch. Really, these strikers need a goal, don't they? Uh, Peter Crouch hasn't scored in his last eight games, not since uh, New Year's Eve, in fact. Fernando Marientes hasn't scored in his last nine, Mark. Apart from that, they're doing fine, though. <laughs> this is Fletcher. Flags up here. Don't think the assistant referee is very happy with the throw. Well, that's a foul throw, isn't it? The other thing as well is that uh, just for a moment there, Stephen Gerrard and Harry Kill actually swapped sides. Jim Gary never had his foot over the line, I think, when he took that. And uh, Sir Alec Ferguson starts the game upstairs. He was here on uh, Tuesday, the Manchester United boss, to see Liverpool defeat Arsenal. So the homework has been done. To Liverpool free kick. And short to Hippier. That's his cross. Morientes is there. So is Suzoko. This is Harmon. And it goes straight to Ryan Giggs, who finds Ronaldo. Suzoko. This is Finnan. Gerrard's cross whipped in, came over West Brown's head. Corner. Vidic was covering for Brown. Kuhl and uh, Suzoko are the ones who go right in on Van der Sar. And then there are three coming from further back. Crouch, Hippia and Morientes. Oh, Crouch got a hit, but oh, he, he should have took a bit, I think, as well. Here's Risa. <laughs> Liverpool have been keeping the ball very much in the Manchester United half, and uh, that's a free kick. Richardson was fouled before he released the ball. Or as he released it. Good referee, actually, because he waited, Howard Webb, just to see if Manchester United had any advantage. This is Fletcher. Neville, Risa, Kuhl to his left, Morientes, nice pace to the game but neither defence really opened up yet, this is uh, Silvest, Ronaldo, that was a foul by Jamie Carragher on Ronaldo, Just a little bit stop-start at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, first 15 minutes, usual uh, feeling each other out, really. This is Rooney. Neville, looking for Van Nistelrooy. The league game here, earlier in the season, finished 0-0. Roy Keane's last match for Manchester United, as I recall. was Crouch, Morientes, and he's found Kuhl. And that left foot, oof, comes cannoning back off uh, Wes Brown. And 
John Arna Reese has had plenty of opportunity to propel the ball in from this left hand touchline. He's found a Harmon. Oh, a miss kick nearly puts Crouch in. It was Giggs actually who had an air shot there. No damage done. Gerard spreading it wide to Risa. Challenge was by Van Nistelrooy going back. Now, can one of these come off for Risa? He's looking for Sissoko this time. So far. Manchester United have defended these long throws very well, but Sammy Hippian makes a point of going forward now onto the six-yard line. Here comes Peter Crouch to get a touch. Headed back in and headed back out by Brown. It was knocked back in by Harmon initially. Free kick. Fletcher on kill. This is where the Gerard delivery comes into play. And where Crouch takes up his position. Oh, the head is there! Oh, Harry Kuehl! My goodness, that was close. And van der Sar forced to react, which he did. Well, everything about it was outstanding, wasn't it? Outstanding delivery. Same applies to the header as well from Kuhl, couldn't put it anywhere else, and it's an amazing save from van der Sar. Here's Finnan straight from the corner, back to Gerrard. Finnan again, up goes Morientes, there's Crouch! Oh, and it's gone in! It's gone in for Liverpool! Peter Crouch comes back with a goal, and it's his first in nine games. And Anfield... Oh, is rocking. Well, would you believe it? It was pulled back, and then when the cross came in, Crouch with the darting header, and Van der Sar got a hand. It may have even touched the inside of the post, but it came back inside the goal line. There's the Crouch header. Van der Sar to his... He made one great save a moment ago, off the post, along the line, and just inside the other post mark. Well, from Manchester United's point of view, John, it's poor defending because it's just a free header for Peter Crouch. It was a, you know, pick your spot, see if you can score, and he did. 19 minutes, the time of the goal. Liverpool draw first blood in the cup tie. Here's Fletcher. Now, what have United got in rapid response? This is Gary Neville. Oh, and Fletcher sneaking in the far side of uh, Carragher. I was just going to say before the goal that Manchester United had dealt very well with the high ball into the penalty area, and then they, they didn't clear the free kick in terms of Van der Sar had to make the save, but the free header from Crouch has really undone them. Well, more of him in a moment. For the time being, it's a corner to be taken by Ryan Giggs. Vidic is forward. Ronaldo hovering. Here comes Wes Brown. Carragher won it. Richardson back again to Giggs. Van Nistelrooy stays in there. Flicked on by a Liverpool player and then away for a corner by Crouch in defence. Right, Rooney will take this one. Brown coming in. Ronaldo behind him. A little bit of defending by John Arna Risa, but it's Rooney here. Looking for Van Nistelrooy. Morientes calms it down for Liverpool. Gerard, Morientes. Rayon says Howard Webb, well positioned to say so too. 
which is Finner now on the outlet. Harmon. Well, this long lead spell for the Liverpool strikers is over. This is cool. Peter Crouch's last goal, December the 31st against West Bromwich Albion. Here he is again. Well, Liverpool fans jumping up and down in the cop stand and on the far side. Here's Giggs. Ronaldo gets a free kick. Well, it's very early in the day, Mark, but the 85-year wait, well, <laughs> they've made a decent start to ending it. <laughs> I just think as well, really, Manchester United haven't started playing, have they? Absolutely not. Giggs might do so now. He's found Richardson. Haven't seen much of Rooney yet. Here's Neville. Fletcher. Morient is really putting himself about. Vidic. Ten years since Bob Paisley died this week, Mark. He would have enjoyed an occasion like this, wouldn't he? He'll be chuckling if he's up there. He'd have enjoyed seeing that goal go in anyway. From Peter Crouch. from Liverpool's point of view so far it has this is Richardson to Ronaldo a bit of head scratching for the uh, Manchester United boss now Vidic Neville Ronaldo Silvestre makes a forward run ahead of him cross cut out the hippie it's a free kick it's a foul by Van Nistelrooy Liverpool uh, agreed to buy a new centre-back this week, Gabriel Paletta, who won the Under-20 World Cup with Argentina, centre-back to join Rafael Benitez in the summer. He's keen to improve his squad still yet. Away by Vidic. Harmon. Now it's recent. That's uh, harmless. Just looking at Manchester United in midfield, they've, they've struggled, haven't they, to get the ball down and play. And with him, actually, Soko, Hamman, and Gerard, they're very, very, very quick into the tackle. And they have a tendency to suffocate you in that area. Now, Benitez was out there giving Risa a few words of advice or encouragement. This game has started well for the home side. Richardson, Van Nistelrooy, now then, this is better for United, it's Fletcher and he's got Rooney here. First we've really seen of Rooney and then uh, there's a player injured, that's why the referee stopped the game. It's uh, Sissoko on the far side. First flash of Rooney there, Mark, wasn't it? Well, he's not had the ball, John, which I don't want to tell you, it's very difficult to play without it. Slightly, just a slightly strange formation that United are playing. I think they set the fact that Liverpool are very strong in midfield, and this is a tackle with Hammer. They're very strong in midfield, and the, the problem for Manchester United is trying to get hold of the ball to service the likes of Van Nistelrooy and Rooney. And as we've seen, 
Well, we haven't seen them, have we? Well, if you were uh, a little late in joining us, that's a foul or an arm on Sissoko, really, which is why he's injured. But if you didn't see the goal, it was Peter Crouch. After 19 minutes, and that'll be a big weight off his shoulders. Sissoko gets uh, this Crouch, who uh, just come back from a couple of games out with injury, but he did need the goal, and so did Liverpool from one of their strikers. It's one of the reasons that uh, they were prepared to buy him, goals like that. Now, Sissoko is waiting to be uh, waved back on. Howard Webb gives him that signal. Is that handball by Ronaldo? No. Forward by Jamie Carragher. And away by Brown. Gerard. This is Suzuko. Gerard again. Another one of those flighted diagonal balls towards Peter Crouch. Here's Kewell. Who had the header just before the goal that was magnificently saved by Van der Sar, Harry Kuehl, but it was only a few seconds later that um, Liverpool beat the diving goalkeeper. Well, Rooney would prefer to be at the other end, I'm sure. himself as well, trying to tackle Harry Curl, I think. Maybe. Reese with another one of these uh, long throws. Oh, and the header very nearly made a present of it to Morientes coming in. That was nervy defending by Manchester United, and Rooney is down, as Mark Lawrenson said. Yeah, it's one of those chances where he, w he went in quite hard on, I think it was Kuhl, and he ended up hurting himself. Yes, it's here, isn't it? As he challenges Kuhl there, yes, you can see the effect of it. Of course, everyone holds their breath when Rooney gets injured, don't they, from an England perspective, never mind Manchester United. I was going to say, speak for yourself. Well, everyone English anyway. <laughs> Morientes here nearly got set up by a defender. Do you know, John, before, before the first goal went in, Manchester United had dealt extremely well with all the crosses, and since the Kuehl chance and the save, really, every time the balls come in, they look at sixes and sevens. Well, it's going to come in again in a minute. Rooney's uh, still hobbling slightly. It's a short throw this time by uh, Risa, but this is Hippier. Rooney's still not back on the pitch, he is now. This is Ronaldo. Free kick, he's won several of those. Not in particularly dangerous areas, it must be said, but uh, that's in the centre circle. Coming up to the half-hour mark. Liverpool hold the advantage. And so far, Manchester United have struggled to make a chance mark. Well, they haven't made any, have they? There's Van Nistelrooy. Richardson. Ooh, that's a 
a sloppy pass. It's intercepted by Harry Kill. This is Suzoko. Harmon. And again. Kill. Crouch. Just a little scrappy at the moment. Another side holding onto the ball for very long. But up to now, Liverpool have held onto it rather better than United. Risa. Vidic not too sure with that header, then Crouch goes down. Howard Webb, superbly positioned, merely signals for a goal kick, and I think that's absolutely right. Yeah. Peter Crouch in the end just, just tried to run into Vidic and then looked at the referee saying he fouled me. Bit of uh, good old-fashioned bodily contact. Well, Liverpool have had most of the free kicks and the throw-in, so here's Risa again. Kewell goes down the left-hand side, Gary Neville missed that. But there was cover behind him, it was Vidic, then Fletcher and now Richardson. Good challenge, Gerrard, this is Sissoko. Gerrard again, oh, really biting in midfield now. This is Steven Gerrard looking right, there's nobody there. Harmon. Morientes, Crouch, little flick back for Morientes. Good block, Vidic, corner. So... Everybody coming back for Manchester United. Gerrard to take the kick for Liverpool. Hippier comes forward to support Crouch. Played short to Harry Kewell. Tackled by Giggs. Now then, what's that going to be, a free kick? Oh, and Van Nistelrooy squares up to Harry Kewell. And Howard Webb has a bit of sorting out to do here. The card's coming out. The card is coming out. Looks as though it may be yellow for Giggs for the initial tackle. Yeah, I think tackle from behind is what the referee is saying. But there was a, an incident just after that, and it was Kuhl and Van Nistelrooy, and that's what he's trying to sort out now. I think Van Nistelrooy was suggesting to Kuhl that he went down extremely easily. Case of pot and kettle, I think. <laughs> well, Steven Gerrard can take a free kick here right on the 18-yard line. John, that was the other debate, it was whether it was just inside the area or not, it's a very close call. Yeah, we'll see it again later, but uh, let's just see what he's going to do with this, because there are options on here. Kuhl is in the six-yard box, Hippier, Crouch and Morientes to come in. Of just a oh, Stephen Finnan! Oh, chance to make it 2-0. Oh, was it ever. He just got himself free at the back post. It's almost though Stevie Gerrard picked him out. No Manchester United player anywhere near him. That's poor marking, isn't it? That's poor marking, it's poor finishing. So, the chance goes for Finnan, who's only ever scored uh, one goal in Liverpool colours. Let off for United that well a big let off 2 0 after uh, 34 minutes would have been quite a handicap. Here's Suzoka Gerard Gary Neville having to hurry across to match reset. So, ten minutes left in the first half here. Wayne Rooney penalised. Yeah, I think he raised his hands and they've gone in the challenge of Stevie Gerrard. Manchester United have been in the last two FA Cup finals. Here comes Kewell. They beat Millwall two years ago, lost to Arsenal on penalties. Liverpool's last appearance was in the first final at Cardiff in 2001. to beat Arsenal with two late Owen goals. Risa wants this to run. Now, has Rooney kept it in? He has, according to the assistant referee. Well, United have got...
got five blue shirts in the Liverpool penalty area. Gary Neville has the ball. Van Nistelrooy just uh, goes down by the goal line. It's back to Neville from Vidic. Here's Vidic again. And uh, Reina will collect that comfortably. Crouch, good touch. Sizoko is following up. Vidic saw the danger. Free kick there. Crouch on Giggs. I think physically in that midfield area, Giggs, Richardson, Fletcher, just can't get near the ball, John. I mean, Liverpool are so big and so strong and so powerful in that area. Well, that was the trip. So uh, Manchester United have possession with Giggs. This is Rooney. Now Van Nistelrooy in the centre. That's who he's trying to find. And Rooney gets a touch again and again. Really battling for it here, Wayne Rooney. Looks at the referee, appeals, nothing given. Giggs finds Neville. This is Fletcher. Rooney again. Van Nistelrooy's offside. I think Rooney had a case for a foul on him by Hoopier on the edge of the penalty area. I just wonder whether the referee was trying to play advantage. Yes, there was there. I think it's here, isn't it? it there, is here, yeah. yeah. Watch. He battled away well, didn't he? He went down eventually. That's what he was looking for it. There was a smile on Rooney's face when he uh, discussed it with Hoopier. That's offside, uh, Van Nistelrooy. Ferguson has come down to the side of the pitch now. Forward by Carragher. It's a foul, foul by Crouch on uh, Brown. Well, there's the header that did the damage along the line, didn't it? I think Vidic was supposed to mark him, he just completely left Peter Crouch. Good turn by Morientes, that's more like the Morientes we've seen playing for Spain. Crouch, on to kill. Still Harry Kill curves the ball in. Could do it again too. Still can. Here's Morientes. This is Dietmar Harman. Locked it up for Peter Crouch. Shouts against Brown, but in fact, uh, the referee's given a free kick the other way. He's done well, the referee, hasn't he? You know, he had his tested very, very early on with the kill foul on uh, Gary Neville. He's done really well. Our ball back, will you? Frustration. <laughs> Finally, Wayne Rooney goes down and retrieves the ball in the other corner. Five minutes to go to half time at Anfield in the fifth round of the Football Association Challenge Cup. Liverpool 1, Manchester United 0. for this competition next season but it'll still be called the FA Cup and rightly so here's Rooney now can Manchester United create something before half time they haven't done so up to now nothing meaningful Brown Sylvester Tested by Gerard. 
Richardson further down the left. He's got Carragher to contend with here, the two number 23s. The Liverpool man wins out. Ronaldo. This is Deep Maharm and off. Good strength there. You are right, they're real athletes in the Liverpool midfield, aren't they? All four of them. Here's Morientes. This is a very self-assured first-half performance by Liverpool, Mark. They're in control, John. They're in control in every area of the pitch at the moment. You wouldn't think, looking at this, that they were the team that had a draining midweek game. Here's Finnan. Gerrard. Sissoko. Or oh, Finnan goes again. He's come inside Richardson. He's found Gerrard. That's very deep, Morientes will try and retrieve it. And he has, and Crouch is coming in with the goalkeeper. It's a good save that by Van der Sar. He's also looking straight up into the sun, and he knows that Crouch is going to try and challenge him for the ball. Ronaldo, Giggs. Harmon. Look at this, more possession for Liverpool, they've had most of it, this is Sissoko! Back pass, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yet to score for Liverpool, actually. Now then, Risa appeals but gets nothing. is getting some instructions out for Manchester United. There are a couple of minutes left in the first half. And if it stays like this, Liverpool are going to go into the dressing room on a high. This is Brown. Sylvester looking for Richardson. Suzoka was in so quickly there. have shown a great propensity to pinch the ball in midfield. Rooney. And that's exactly what's troubling Manchester United. They can't get possession. And when they do, Liverpool just keep pinching it back off them. That's been the pattern. Crouch. Rooney. We're going to have three minutes of uh, time added on at the end of the first half here. Van Nistelrooy, Fletcher. Time perhaps for Manchester United to impose themselves at last. Here's Ronaldo, Neville. But not while uh, Carragher and company are as solid as that. He's trying to release Morientes. Came off his back. Richardson looks for Ronaldo, who's come over to the right-hand side now against Risa. Kewell with the touch. Sissoko. Fletcher. Sissoko tripped him from behind. Just commit his fair share of fouls, Sissoko, it has to be said. Now then, Wes Brown will go forward on the far side here for Manchester United. They desperately need something to lift them as they go into the added time. And now Vidic has gone to join them up there. It's Giggs with the kick. He's found Ronaldo. Oof. header that was by uh, Jamie Carragher but Brown has stayed forward far side this is Gerrard Carragher has been a colossus in the Liverpool defence in this first half and I would say Mark a pretty much a certainty for the England squad wouldn't he be? Yes well about him John as well he can also play it right back if you need him he can also play central midfield which he did for Liverpool early on in his career is 
just outstanding. Here's Rooney. Neville. Looking, oh well, it's come off cue and he was aiming at Van Nistelrooy. In the second minute of the uh, added period for stoppages. Silvest. And that just sums up the first half, really. Liverpool dominant in the middle of the field. Irritation showing there, Richardson committed the foul, Mark. What do you make of the first half overall? Well, Liverpool in control, there hasn't been many chances, never is in these encounters, but the ball falling to Liverpool. And look at Manchester United, John, that the best two players normally are Van Nistelrooy and Rooney, they can't get the ball to them, they're going to have to do something about the way they deploy the midfield players. Well, it's the midfield department that's come under scrutiny for United this season, that's Harmon. Since the... Um, Departure of Roy Keane and of course the absence of Paul Scholes out for the season with that uh, blurred vision and so on and uh, I would say really Mark that that is the difference isn't it most definitely John but it but it's a big difference today especially when the game is always going to be very tight Liverpool have won every 50-50 and probably a few against ahead as well in there I think they won a few 40-60s as well to be honest yeah <laughs> this is Crouch Sissoko, and as they say in football, and particularly in the FA Cup, you never know, we could have a completely different second half. Certainly Manchester United followers will be hoping so. The other thing as well is that, that Stevie Finn and Chance, who knows how big that's going to be. Absolutely, would have made it 2-0, man with the ball. And Howard Webb, who's controlled it well. Brings the first half to a close. Loud applause from the Liverpool ranks. Muted disappointment at the Manchester United end. Peter Crouch, the scorer. Half time in the FA Cup fifth round. Liverpool one, Manchester United nil. So Liverpool leave it at half time and thoroughly merited. Yeah, better team, better the player, better chances. Finn could have finished it off. We spoke at the start of the programme about the strikers and defences, but it's the middle of the park where. Uh, United have been decidedly lightweight. Um, you cannot play if you've not got the ball. And, they, and, and when Liverpool have got it, they've got time and space to bring it down the middle of the park and play. Obviously, Gerrard has been tremendously influential. But when Manchester United have got it, Liverpool players are in so quickly in each individual that they haven't any time to, to get it down and play. Therefore, uh, Van Nistelrooy and Rooney haven't been in. In mm -hmm. fact, the two of them were spotted yep. in the right back position defending. That tells its own story. Yeah, you can have the best strikers in the world, Pally, but if um, they don't get the ball, they can't exactly do anything. Right, yeah. they, they have been dominated in that midfield area. Yeah, without a shadow. I mean, I said about Jerry, he's been fantastic again. He's pulled all the strings. Uh, when they haven't got the ball, every every Liverpool player has been snapping at the heels of Manchester United players. They haven't got the quality in there to to get the ball down and feed uh, Van der Sarre and Rooney. Ian. Liverpool well, have been impressive. They have been impressive and they've been right about them. I and you'd expect them to be like that, being at Anfield and being their home game and against Man United. But I would have thought that maybe Ronaldo might have got on the ball a bit more, tried to commit, commit um, his, um, his defender a bit more, tried to get the ball into the Van Nistelrooy's and the Rooney's. But like, um, it looks like at the moment it's quite a frustra frustrating game for the front men for Man United. I'd be gutted if I was a Man United fan. <laughs> <laughs> the middle two for Manchester United, Giggs and Richardson. Ryan Giggs is a brilliant, brilliant player going forward. but. Playing him in a sort of home role where he's got to put his foot in. We saw the tackle yeah. that Harry Peel with. That was a crazy, penalty. absolutely mm. crazy. But even in the middle of the park, when the Liverpool players are getting it, the tackles aren't well, there. Why, why do you think um, Alex Ferguson has gone for two players who generally play wide on the left in the centre there? Why <laughs> I do don't know. That? I have no idea. But I mean, I mean, you've got Alan Smith there on the uh, on the bench. You he's would have thought this would this game would have been ideal for him. He saw that he's not played up front for a while. You, he's got the tenacity to get around the Liverpool players. You, th you would have thought he went with him today. I think he might he might come. He'll up. come on. I would imagine they'll replace one of the. Okay. Well, the well, well, when the goal eventually came, uh, uh, of course, the, the, there was something just before that that Kuehl header that um, was brilliantly saved by Van der Zijl. Well, the everything, ev to the goal everything about it was good. The delivery was great. The header was great, and the save was great. Um, mm. Brilliant piece of football. Great delivery. Difficult to defend against. A little bit of movement for Kuehl. Brilliant header, and that is a fantastic save. And from the ensuing corner, uh, led to the goal. Yeah, you would have think that they thought they were learning the lesson. It's a, it's a short corner again. It's a, 
It's a terrific whipping. It's a great ball. As long as but, uh, the marking, he jump, he's a quite yeah. good in the air. <laughs> <And that's>, <laughs> it's <laughs> a terrific header from Crouch as well. Yeah. But you go back to the corner, you know, they've left two against one there. You know, yeah. Gerard just plays it defending. Again, decent delivery, but you've yeah. got to do more to defend against that. Crouching header, in. It was a crouching <laughs> header. Like I say, he seems to be so good as long as he doesn't have to jump. You know, <laughs> that was a fantastic... He, he lost his defender really well there, and uh, the goalkeeper was unlucky. He got a fingertip to that as well, Van der Sar. You talked to him about the, the Giggs foul. Mm. It, was, it was a crazy one on the edge of the box. It was very close to the edge of the box. Do you think it was... I think it was a penalty. If you look at it, he does take... I think he brings him down in the box, if you watch it. You see it, look. Yeah. In the box. It's I think right. it's just very close. It's, it's right. Look where the ball is. Mm -hmm. yeah. It just seems like what, what's he doing? Why would he want to challenge him like this? Uh, what's Harry done to everybody? It's in the box, isn't it? It's inside the box. You know, yeah. I, I know he's, he's got a ponytail thing it's going on and everything. Kick. This is and then I can't this could have finished this finished off. This is Finnan, free on the back. Against a man, I think it's Ronaldo at the far post. It's, this, well, actually, he's, he's not, not even picking, picking him up. up. There's nobody even picking There's him up there. I mean, yes. I mean, it's a great pick out from right. Gerard, but you know, we've got to be looking at the, at the defence there, and questions have got to be asked. Mm. Great spot. Mm. They set the stall out very early on, Liverpool, about the way they were going to go about this game, and um, <laughs> of all people, it was, um, <laughs> Harry Kewell on, on well, Gary Neville, who, you know, he's not known for his tackling. I cannot believe that Kewell wasn't booked for this. This is just it's out and out assault. This is. He comes across, Neville's going to play it down the line. And he's just bumped into him. That is, is that one for the crowd? <laughs> <laughs> I think he might have been wound up for that one, yeah. yeah. You know, look, at, look at it. It's like he's going to look. You'd think you might as well clatter him if you're going to clatter him. What is yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> Silly. Well, you know, I suppose it's one way of getting the fans on your side. I think to be, to be fair to, to Guy Neville, it does well because he gets right up and gets on it. Kuehl's decent ball into the box here. Where's Brown? That could have gone anywhere. Mm. Right. So Gary, Gary's been a little bit on edge, he's given the ball away a lot and, you know, Harry Kewell's frightening him with his strength and pace and all that stuff. I think not, but like, um, <laughs> I just want um, Gary Neville to just concentrate on what he's doing, man, because, uh, you know what I mean, if he loses his concentration, it could be problems for him. He's the, experienced enough not to mm. do that. Um, Gary, we've, we haven't seen too much of Van Nistelrooy and, and Rooney, and what we've seen really has been backtracking and, and tackling back in yeah, positions you know, that you wouldn't want to see them necessarily. No, exactly. I mean. I, the midfield and the, and the back line will probably be happy with them helping out, but you want to see them further up the park. They've That's got goals in them. Himself, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know if it was at his ankle or his knee. It looks quite. He's. Yeah, I think there's a little. That looks like his knee. Like he might have tweaked his his interior ligament there. Thank you. Well, this is a great <laughs> ball from Jared, but who's defending here? Rude Can't be rude. Can't be. Yeah. It's, uh, it must be because look how bad the challenge was, but. It's a that's, one of the, that's one of my what's he doing there? tackles what's, what's he in doing the afternoon. There? You have to wonder. They're going to get more frustrated as a forward. You do that. You come back and you, you tackle like that. It's because you've got frustrated. to make changes. I suppose oh, if, if United are going to do anything in the second half, you suspect it will come from Rooney. And he's always a threat if he gets the ball. And there's one example which eventually led to Van Nistelrooy being offside. But Even when he's not having the best of matches, he's not seen the ball, you're always expecting something different, something extra. Chips it in there, goes for the next one. He's got the strength and he's got the aggression. He just doesn't uh, give up, does he? No, he just, just, just chases it, it down all the back. It's the way Liverpool have been most of the afternoon. It is a great flick, but... Mm. Well, I think the Liverpool defence is really good there. That line is just about perfect. And it, on the edge of the box, four of them in a line. And they've been impressive. Straight Liverpool, line. Straight line. Straight line. <laughs> Liverpool defensively have been really impressive as well. well they certainly have. Now, let's pause uh, just for a moment to look ahead to... Oh, well worth. Yeah. Are we seeing possibly a, sh a power shift in football? I mean, we've seen the United and um, Arsenal dominance over the, the past couple of decades. Chelsea, of course, now dominant mm. in the league. Could Liverpool be the team to emerge? They could come into the second position. I don't think they're good enough to challenge Chelsea at the moment. Um, but certainly they could overtake Manchester United. We were seeing it <coughs> after 10 minutes, Pally and I, how well the Manchester United defence were playing. Uh, but when you haven't got the ball, they come under pressure. I mean, Gary played in front of the great quartet of Manchester United and it must have just been like mm. having a cigar every time, you yeah. know, that they, you played behind them, whereas you play in this Manchester United it's the team. the way Pally played. Oh, well, exactly. <laughs> but if you, play behind, guy, if yeah. you play at the back behind this Manchester United team, sooner or later you're going to feel yourself under pressure and that's when it leads to individual mistakes. I mean, United are missing the likes, you know what I mean, we've seen over the, the dominant period, they've had Kane in there, they've had Incy in there, they've had Brian Robson at the start of it. 
United lacked that midfield player, and I'm sure it's Alex Ferguson will be working as hard as he possibly can over the next months to find a player who can, who can fit even that wide, even Beckham and Giggs and, and yeah, I mean, work rate was was, mm, was tremendous and protection that they give because it worked back and forward. Um, that balance isn't quite there at the moment. It's always the hardest thing replacing the, the great players. Got a couple of uh, another couple of old greats now from from the past of Liverpool and Manchester United. Alan Kennedy and Mickey Thomas are with Ivan Gaskell. Thanks for coming down, boys. I know it's a long way from the press room. Um, Alan, first of all, you've played in a few of these games. How does, how does this one rate for you? It's a very good game. It's a typical cup tie. It's 100-mile-an-hour uh, stuff. No players are allowed to settle on the ball. But at the moment, Liverpool have the vital goal and uh, are defending very, very well. So I don't expect any changes in the second half. The first tackle on Gary Neville timed just under three minutes, Mickey. you would expect nothing less. But from a Manchester United perspective, what have they got to do better in this second half now? Well, I think we have to commit more in midfield. I think we're lacking that at the moment. I think uh, Liverpool in command there. I think we can get a grip of that, maybe. We can get a goal. I think down that left-hand side with Ronaldo on the ball, he's going to be the major threat for us. But we have to compete in that midfield area. That's been a problem for us. I was talking to Stephen Gerrard before the game. I said, what, why, why is there such a rivalry? So Scousers just don't like Mancunians. I mean, well, <laughs> you two get on all right, don't you? Yeah, we work together. Yeah. We, work, <laughs> we work together. Uh, but it is. The, the course is it's the biggest rivalry in football. And, uh, you know, we, we want to do what Manchester United did in the, in, in the 90s and win titles and things like that. But uh, it's a tough game. It's a cup tie. We want to get through to the next round, and uh, as do Man United. So they'll be out for it for the second half. It's, it's almost a century since Liverpool beat United in the Thank cup. You. It predates. It predates even you two, I think. It does. 1921, we've been told by a lot <laughs> yeah. of the um, uh, Mancunian uh, followers. But, uh, yeah, it's a long time. But uh, we're still only halfway. We're still there. We're still a long way to go. I'm sure Man United will make the changes necessary. But uh, I still think Liverpool are strong enough to win the game. I think you've both got work to do in the second half. You're yeah, we're upstairs, off. haven't you? We've yeah. we got to go, yeah. But I think we're still in the game at one and we've still got an opportunity. I've got to, to say the last word, not you. OK, okay. this time. OK, okay. is that all right? Gents, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> We've got enough last word freaks. <laughs> uh, anyway. All last um, word freaks. Ian, uh, do, you, uh, uh, do you think Manchester United are a bit like Arsenal going through a, a transitional phase? <laughs> well, yeah, I think they are because anyone could obviously see Arsenal are going through a transitional period at the moment. That's why it's not going so well for us. But I do feel that with Man United, all seriousness aside, you know, the players even Paddy mentioned, you know, like um, in, in the past, they haven't got one of those at the moment. Of course, they've got Wayne Rooney and Van Nistelrooy will score goals, but they're just going through that period where they need to build it back up again and they need to do it quick. Otherwise, Chelsea are just going to leave everybody behind. Well, Manchester United is certainly going for it. They're making a change. Sahar is coming on for Sylvester. That um, suggests... <laughs> suggests <laughs> what? Sahar's <laughs> playing, <laughs> Sahar's really playing left back. Yeah. <laughs> but we thought they might have replaced somebody in the middle of the park, but... Yeah. Uh, we're interested to see how they're lining up, but obviously they're going to have a goal. Sylvester's got a knock apparently, but it's, I mean, it's still a forward for a defender. I'm just wonder, w wondering how they're going to set up there now in the, in the second half, who's going to fill in for, for Sylvester? Well, he has, he has played Richardson's Sahar played. and... Uh, yeah, Richardson's, uh, Richardson's, Richardson's played left back yeah, before. Yeah, 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 he's he's started started off, they there. might bring Ronaldo on uh, this half as well. <laughs> <laughs> so Richardson go left back, Ronaldo go left wing. Do you think the hairdryer might have been out at half-time, Gary? Oh. I think he'll certainly be asking for more from his, from his players the second half. I think they were, you know, I mean, they're all over the park. Middlesbrough pressed United. They didn't give them time on the ball. They've got to start doing the same to Liverpool. Okay. The biggest surprise of all this is that Ruud van Nistelrooy, two trophies in five years, and that would sum it all up. Good OK, point. let's rejoin our commentary team, Mark Lawrenson and John Watson. Thank you very much, Gary. Um, I would have suggested that maybe Richardson would go to left-back uh, and make way for Sahar further forward. Um, nice to see Mickey Thomas again there at half-time, scorer of a great, memorable cup tie goal for Wrexham against Arsenal in the early 90s. And Alan Kennedy, of course, a great hero here at Liverpool for scoring a winning goal mark in a European Cup final. Yes, John, I think as well, if you, if you count the penalty winning goal also against Roma in 84, he'll tell you it's two. Two Cup of European Cups. In fact, he'll tell you all day it's two. <laughs> nice to see those lads. Um, now then, Sahar. He's been on a rich vein of scoring form just recently. And uh, do you think it'll be Richardson left back? Yeah, I think so. I think United, is, they'll, they'll, they'll go three up top, won't they, I think. Looks like Ronaldo might sort of push down the right mm, as well, so he's com completely reorganised. Rooney may, come, may have to come and play on the left-hand side as well, do you know what I mean? Well, three points, the gap between them as they battle for second place in the Premiership, Manchester United and Liverpool. 
85 years, as we keep saying, since Liverpool defeated Manchester United in the FA Cup. In those far-off days, the teams of the old first division entered in the first round, and uh, Liverpool won in a replay at Old Trafford after a draw at Anfield. Today they lead 1-0, and it's uh, Gerrard and Morientes who get the second half underway. Gerrard having been a key figure in the first half. And Richardson does indeed slot into the left-back position for Manchester United. Now, here's Sahar with his first touch. Kill up against Neville again. Into Crouch. Risa trying to go. Oh, he did go round uh, Ronaldo. Morientes, Crouch. Liverpool now attacking the cop stand. It's Reese's cross. Oh, and West Brown had to do something. Morientes was poised. I think what happened with West Brown, he realised that Morientes was making a move behind him and he almost panicked. In the end, he's, he's done really, really well just to direct the ball over the bar. Oof, dear me. Heart in the mouth stuff there. It's uh, a corner to Liverpool. It's been taken short to Steve Finnan. Hoopier is in the middle. This is Gerrard. Hoopia comes in now, so, oh, it's a bit of push it on, well, Crouch's shirt is pulled off his shoulder, but it was a foul by him initially, I think. I'm just trying to think, Mark, did uh, Rayner have a shot to save in the first half? No, not that I can remember. Real poor output by uh, Manchester United, but as you said, the strikers weren't getting the service. Now then, it's uh, Crouch chasing Vidic. <laughs> Neville now getting the jeers from the other side of the ground. As the boys in the studio were saying, it's now a very, very attacking Manchester United team. Two up front, Sahar and Van Nistelrooy. Ronaldo down the right, Rooney down the left-hand side. And if you also, if you count Giggs as an attacking player, John, that's five. Certainly is. There's another one of the long throws by Reset, looking for Crouch. Harmon. Finnan finds Sissoko, but that's only to Richardson. And that's a foul by uh, Harman on uh, Sahar. Oh, yellow card, Dietmar Harman. I don't think he can complain. He's undoubtedly caught Sahar. It was late, wasn't it? Harman, who played in the Liverpool team that last won the Cup in 2001 and was also a runner-up in uh, one of Newcastle's Cup final teams two years earlier. Newcastle we're showing later on today. Richardson, oh, Rayner should surely take that away from uh, Van Nistelrooy. Vidic with the header. Fletcher. Vidic having to hurry. Pipia. Great strength about his game, Dietmar Harman. Here's Gerard. Rooney in this wide left position now. said Alex Ferguson has got Alan Smith in reserve if he wants to change the midfield as we think of Smith now as a midfield player don't we <laughs> made his name as an out-and-out -out striker at Leeds Fletcher Richardson Giggs being tracked here by Sissoko Liverpool are still shutting Manchester United down as they were in the first half. Forcing them into errors.
and mustn't forget, as Alec Ferguson certainly will not forget, the last time they met in the FA Cup because Liverpool were winning 1-0 until the 88th minute. And then Manchester United mugged them, scored twice. So there's a long way to go here. All hesitation there, and Crouch just about got in behind Vidic, it's a goal kick. I think the Serbian international was quite sure where the goalkeeper was, Mark. No, he had a, he had a quick look as well, I think he thought he was closer than he was, and in the end, Van, Van der Sar takes a half step backwards, just allows Crouch to try and nick the ball away. Attacking the end where their support is gathered. But the singing is coming from uh, Liverpudlians. Here's Richardson. Oh, he's given it straight to Gerard. Harmon. Opening it out on the far side to John Arna Risa, looking for Kuhl here. Ronaldo, haven't seen him sparkle yet. This is Van Nistelrooy. Neville plays it offside, Sahar. That's yeah, good play by Stevie Finn in that. He was, he was the last man he could see exactly where Sahar was going. And he knew he was offside. Should know him pretty well, shouldn't they? Both at Fulham together. Sure. Picking up the pieces again, Finnan, Harmon. Oh, Finnan's been felled by Rooney here. He's quick to uh, just. Uh... Oh, into Kuhl. Suzoko. Gerard. Suzoko again manipulating the ball there on the edge of the area. Rooney was quick to say sorry for that challenge. This is uh, Ronaldo. Good place across the pitch to Giggs. Oh, now then, is there an outlet? It, there is, and it's Gary Neville. And there are three streaming up for Manchester United here. Sahar first, Van Nistelrooy! And what on earth happened there? It looked like... Oh. Steve Finnan almost touched the ball back to Rayner. Looked a lot cooler than I'm sure he felt. And now there's a foul and the referee's got to sort out the uh, ensuing complaints. Sammy Hippier is the player being called to him. Well, this was a sudden burst by Manchester United to uh, remind us that they're still in the game. The yellow card's coming out here for uh, the Liverpool defender. can't believe that but it's a yellow card and it's a free kick to Manchester United in a threatening position and suddenly they may have woken up Giggs and Ronaldo on the ball I thought Van Nistelrooy was going to finish that off that cross but we'll have another look at it later when we see what happens here we'll stick with Giggs for the moment and Ronaldo who's just Adjusted the ball there. Howard Webb wants them further back. Giggs has curled one in at that end before at Anfield. And this time he finds Rooney through a crowd of players and out. Well, perhaps we can reflect now on what was probably Manchester United's best moment of the match. Van Nistelrooy looked favourite to me on that cross, Mark Lawrenson. Yeah, it did. It was an excellent break. It's a lovely cross from Gary Neville as well. Sahar makes the run across as well. Steve Finn in the end does really well, John, because he does exactly what you want him to do and he doesn't panic in that situation. God, it did look cool, didn't he? It was a magnificent piece of defending when you saw it again by Finnan. Good cover. Full-back's job when the central defenders are drawn across as Alan Hansen 
often tells us, and Mark Lawrenson, of course, will be the first to confirm. This is cool. This is Fletcher. Oh, blocked by Morientes. What do you think about Morientes today, uh, Mark? They, they think he's been underachieving a bit recently. Well, he has. I mean, he, he works extremely hard. It's, it's very difficult because the Morientes that we saw play for Real Madrid and then that year on loan at Monaco looked an outstanding player. And, you just wonder when the time he's come here at Anfield whether he just might be sort of on the cusp, John, and going downhill rather than uphill. Well, it's still an uphill battle for Manchester United here. This is Sahar. Steve Gerrard again on this right hand side. Rooney was the man who got back to dispossess him. And he gets taken out by Hippia, or the ball does, Finnan. Well, we said Finnan's miss in the first half might be significant. His clearance in the part of the penalty area a moment ago might also uh, have some bearing on the final score. This is Finnan. He might now. Richardson's closing him down. He does get the ball in. Oh, what did Van der Sar do there? It's gone out for a corner, but that was an unusual decision by the goalkeeper. Well, I think he just completely took his eye off it, didn't he? I don't know whether his eyes were distracted by some movement in front of him. More of that later. Kewell to take the corner. Gerrard, all away by Sahar. Corner again to Liverpool. Yet another Liverpool player unmarked in the Manchester United area. Absolutely. Concerted effort here again by Liverpool. Oh, and the header by Crouch again. He beat Vidic. Rooney waiting for the bounce. Does it favour him? No. Finnan. It's come off Sizoko. Sahar and Harmon. Giggs. Sahar. Sizoko. Ger oh, good football by Liverpool. Gerard and Harmon. And then Kewell and now Risa overlapping. Oh, Kewell's given it away. Trying to pick out Gerrard, because Liverpool were in full flow, and instead, here's Ronaldo. And Jamie Carragher having to hurry, really. That's a throw-in on the far side. So the United faithful behind that goal raise their voices. Can their team raise their game? Gary Neville with the throw. And he's picked out Wes Brown. Sahar is up there again. Rooney. Richardson. Left foot cross, Van Nistelrooy closing in. Morientes here with Brown. Goalkeeper was uh, more certain this time. Oh dear, that's a bad ball by Fletcher. I think he thought Richardson should have been further forward. He did. This is Suzoko. 
Sarr now decides he will come all the way. Fletcher. An hour gone in the fifth round FA Cup tie at Anfield. Ronaldo for a Manchester United side who still trail. Fletcher. Giggs. Comes nicely between the two. Van Nistelrooy. Saha, can he move it on again? Went himself instead. It's all a little bit uh, tight there on the edge of the area. And instead it's Liverpool who spread the game to Gerrard. Classic crossfield pass to Risa. Gerrard on the right-hand side, Mark. Do you like it? Doesn't matter where he plays, John. He played him at left back, he'd still be the best player. There you are. A glowing report for the England man. Just thinking as well that uh, it's, it looks set up this game for, for a Liverpool counter-attack, especially with Manchester United pushing more and more men forward. I just wonder whether Cissé may be introduced at some stage sooner rather than later to give him that pace, Liverpool. Or Luis Garcia. This is Sissoko. and trying to dig it out and find Sahar. Now then, he's turned well there against Jamie Carragher. Free kick given. Carragher's not happy with that from Howard Webb. Referee does well there, just backs away from these protesting... Oh, he's going to get the card out, is he? Oh, and there's somebody on the pitch here, one of the coaching staff. And uh, Jamie... Mori enters his... I think Carragher is going to get himself booked here. Do you know what, John? If, if he just walked away and not complained to the referee, I don't think he would have booked him, Howard Webb. I think that's his fifth yellow. If it is, he may well miss the next uh, league game, which I think is Manchester City. Now, here's a chance for Manchester United because Giggs has the opportunity when they finally signal for the free kick to be taken. And I wonder whether... They're trying to make a substitution, Liverpool. Luis Garcia is at, is at the uh, halfway line. And I would imagine it may be that they're trying to attract the attention of uh, Morientes, are they? Yeah. Yes, he's, in fact, <laughs> the Manchester United player tells him it was Ronaldo who told Morientes he was being replaced by Luis Garcia, who scored the late winner against Arsenal on Tuesday night. So a change by Liverpool, but when the play resumes, it's a free kick to Manchester United. So Ronaldo, having done his bit of uh, assistance there, is back now in the penalty area. In fact, he's on the near side and was the target for that. So Alec Ferguson nearly grabbing the ball there as it comes out of play. So we're getting very uh, tense down there. Poor ball by Wes Brown. Dietmar Harman trying to release Kill. Now then, how are they going to use Luis Garcia? We'll let Mark explain that when the ball next goes out of play. Here's Fletcher. Giggs. Harman. Crouch. Nice play. Sizoko. Gerard to Crouch stretching. Luis Garcia, Mark? I think he'll just go and play off uh, Peter Crouch, John. Try and get the bits and pieces off the knockdowns and also probably run the other side of the Manchester United defence. This is John Arnorisa. And here is Luis Garcia. He gives Liverpool an unpredictable edge at times. It can be frustrating, but he can also be very effective. Yeah, he scores some very important goals, doesn't he? Eight, in fact, and he's not always in the starting lineup, of course. Often a substitute like today. Here's Kill, Rooney, Van Nistelrooy looking for Sahar, and he's moved it on again to Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, and it was a Richardson cross, but it was straight into the chest of uh, Pepe Reina. Yeah, Reina moved straight away as he saw Richardson was going to deliver it, and almost preempted where the ball was going to go. 
Liverpool still leading by a 19th minute goal from Peter Crouch. And Manchester United still to really test the Liverpool goalkeeper. Suzoko against Sahar, but the United man wins and Van Nistel offside, flags up. On the far side, assistant Dave Babsky raised his flag. Van Nistel Roy wonders about that. It's a good ball by Saha, this. Just off. Off, yep. Yep, I think we agree on that. Yeah, you can't be a little bit pregnant, can you? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, it remains with 65 minutes gone. Liverpool 1, Manchester United 0. Crouch. Fletcher. Harmon. Crouch brings Sissoko into things. Luis Garcia. And Sissoko's way back for Liverpool, and it's gone right across the six-yard line to Gerrard. Oh, that's clipped Gary Neville. Pop stands shouting for hands. Back in by Risa, here's Crouch. Now there is some twinkle toes from Ronaldo at last. Three to his right, one of them being Van Nistelrooy. Now the four the other way in blue shirts. He's gone past Risa, but he's carried the ball out. 48 goals for Manchester United, but no sign of the next one today so far for Ruud van Nistelrooy. And uh, the manager with the option still of uh, using Alan Smith. Don't forget Newcastle versus Southampton at uh, 5.30 on BBC One. Back to the day highlights later on tonight. Aston Villa versus Manchester City tomorrow evening. Now then, Gerrard on the left, finds Kuhl, Crouch waiting, so is Garcia there, oh, this is Luis Garcia. He's given the corner. I think he was right, Mark, too. Yeah, and came off West Brown. So we're halfway through the second half of this stirring cup time, and Liverpool, with a one-goal lead, have a corner at the cop end. Steve Gerrard to take it. Hippie has come forward. Crouch is standing just behind him. Crouch, got a hand to it. Kill! Oh! Caught a Manchester United foot and then ran to Giggs. And finally, Sissoko and the injured player is Peter Crouch. Well, this is another good chance for Liverpool, isn't it? He had all of the goal to aim at here. He's got loads of time, Harry Kuhl. Good first touch as well, there's no excuse. And it was definitely shot, I think he just dragged his foot across it. Well, again, some of the Liverpool supporters were thinking 2-0. That would be very nice. But the injury to Crouch means for the delay. And it's a facial injury, so there may have to be a forward and then you have to go off, perhaps. before Crouch is allowed back on. One of, the, one of the perils, I guess, Mark, of playing where he does and competing for the kind of balls that are aimed at him. Yeah. You've got to have a few scars, John. A few broken noses you can play up there. Of course, Liverpool do have uh, Gibril Cissé on the bench should he be needed, and Benitez will have a check there on Crouch. It's Richardson, meantime, for United. Harmon. 
touch by Garcia. He might get this back, although uh, Brown is favourite. I think uh, Crouch has gone right down the tunnel, John, so that suggests he might be having a stitch or two inside. Absolutely. Wonder how quickly they can do that. He's gone down the tunnel, you're right. Into the dressing room with the doctor, no doubt. So Liverpool down to ten men. Manchester United do in that period. This will be worrying for Benitez to have lost his uh, main attacker because really without Morientes who's gone off there's nobody else to play that role. This is Brown. Fletcher. Neville. Deep ball towards Sahar, lets it go to Ronaldo, Van Nistelrooy in the centre. Richardson, Sahar. Oh, I thought he was going to pick out Rooney. Instead, it's Brown to Neville. Plays sandwich now in the Liverpool half, Rooney. Seven men against the ten, they've got a chance to set something up here. It's Giggs, Van Nistelrooy, Rooney. Good defending by Liverpool, forced him away. Brown, Giggs. Ronaldo. Richardson to Giggs. Yeah, straight to Gerard, who's uh, given it to Luis Garcia. And he plants that one across towards Kuehl, but there's no focal point of the Liverpool attack while Peter Crouch is uh, off the pitch. Finnan. Sissoko. Garcia. wonder whether it's worth sticking uh, Luis Garcia up front, John. Just, well, Crouch is coming back now. Well, a round of applause here. He's been tidied up. I think the referee will have a quick look. Is your shirt... Is there blood on the shirt? No, you're OK. Do well to tell, wouldn't he? Yes, you mean. Unless, yeah. unless he's of royal blood. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, Liverpool back to a full complement here. in the locker. That's forward by Vidic. Vipia, strong and solid. Sizoko. Gerard, oh, Kuehl fell over there, but there are still two ahead of uh, Stephen Gerard. Now it's Kuehl. I just had to kick at him. Quite simple, there you go. Well, Neville is facing a misconduct charge at the FA in the coming week because of the um, celebrations at uh, Old Trafford against Liverpool. And he uh, gets a caution there from the referee today, Howard Webb. Now then, free kick for Liverpool. Gerard has put the ball down. Hippier goes into the penalty area again. Gerard lifts it in. It's come out to Finnan. Norman. Back in by Risa. 
be a straight forward there in open play. But there he is, won it back. Gerard. The centre half is almost playing centre forward, but he's given the ball away there and flying header by Jamie Carragher. Sissoko wins it back. He's having some game in the midfield for Liverpool. Luis Garcia. Oh, he's taken on. Oh, and Vinic has pulled him back. Was he the last man? I don't think he was. I think Gary Neville was covering it. Yellow. Yeah, it's a good decision by the referee. There was all sorts of blue-shirted Manchester United players who were able to get back. He's tugged him back, but I think to the left of that picture, Gary Neville would have been the covering player. Yes. Listen to the crowd now, as Gerrard puts the ball down. Manchester United want to make a substitution in the meantime, and it will be Alan Smith. Sooner or later. And uh, Gerrard looks as though he's shaping up here. But the referee, has he seen the... Manchester United substitution yeah, in the field it, number 24. It's going to be Fletcher Fletcher off and Smith on. United number 14, Alan Smith. And the first job he's got to do is get back in that penalty area and defend the free kick, Alan Smith. Reese has walked away from the ball. Harmon's gone towards it. Having a word with Gerard. Long delay here. Gerard into the wall. Long line of blue shirts doing its job. And that's Ronaldo on Finnan. Just let's see the yellow cards here we've had so far. Neville and uh, Vidic for Manchester United. Harman, Vipier and Carragher for Liverpool. Getting closer, this long-awaited FA Cup victory for Liverpool over their bitter rivals. And in the meantime, Finnan puts the ball down for a free kick. Crouch is uh, poised on the far side of the box. It's played short to Harmon. Crouch repositions himself on the far side. He's coming in now, Peter Crouch. Got the header. Oh. Scary, but... Uh... Brown and Manchester United have survived two or three of those. Sahar. Carragher, good interception again. And that's a free kick against Luis Garcia. It's taken quickly to Giggs. Van Nistelrooy turning it on, but who to? Hippier, in fact. Neville. Oh, he's been caught by Kuhl. And this time, Harry Kuhl won't get away with it. It happened very, very early in the game. And it's happened again, Mark. Ah, uh, it's just a poor tackle, John. Just a couple of minutes after Gary, Gary Neville himself got booked for a yellow on Kuhl. The temperature's rising a bit now. Free kick's going to have to be retaken, the referee wasn't ready. Take it himself by the look of it, or is Vidic going to have a hand in this? Yes, he is. Plants it towards Sahar. Got up well. Van Nistelrooy is there overhead. It just caught a defender and went round for a corner. Now then, this is not over. Yeah, he did really well, Van Nistelrooy. He's all strength, isn't he? It hit Jamie Carragher, didn't it? It's a corner to be taken on the far side by Ronaldo. Vidic and Brown are both forward. Luis Garcia, only as far as Gary Neville. Harmon gets a foot in. Manchester United still queuing up in the penalty area. This is Ronaldo. Alan Smith now on to lend his presence to the attacking force as well. Vidic and Brown come forward again. Sizoko's back there, so is Harmon. 
That's Ronaldo. This is Van Nistelrooy. And it's Giggs. Oh, Scorcher. Still didn't bring a save out of Reina, but it was one of Manchester United's few well-struck efforts. Yeah, just a challenge there, the aerial challenge. Good ball in by Ronaldo. Just a lucky bounce, but it's a great strike by Giggs. Just a little bit too high. Right foot as well. Yeah. How about you, John? I feel there's another goal in this game. I'm just going to say to you, this could be a very exciting last ten minutes, Mark. Especially with the history of the fixture. This is Harmon. Manchester United have been responsible for many famous comebacks. None more so, of course, than the Champions League final. And then again, Liverpool know about comebacks in that, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Carragher will take the free kick from the centre circle. This is Crouch. Free kick. Foul on Vidic. Liverpool, with their Champions League commitments this season, would not want a replay. Manchester United probably wouldn't mind one at this stage. I think the crowd are delaying the, <laughs> the throw in there. They're rolling the ball away from the Manchester United players. Another substitution coming up, I think. Kronkamp. Is it for Kuhl? Yeah, looks like it. This is the uh, Dutch fullback, Jan Kronkamp. I think he'll probably go and play down the right hand side of midfield. If Garcia will go and play on the left. Yes, I think that's what will happen. Kuhl is making his way towards the touchline. Jan Kronkamp, who came here from Villarreal in a straight swap for Hossame. Understand uh, what they were talking about in the dressing room at the Spanish club, the Dutchman. He's getting initiation on Merseyside now. Probably just to close down this this uh, right flank for Liverpool in front of Finnan. Something's on the pitch there. Turn towards Gary Neville, perhaps, and the referee is signalling that he wants that um, noted. Alan Smith's in the heart of that. Ronaldo. This has gone, it's a free kick on the edge of the area. Ronaldo tumbling over. Yeah, I mean, the ball was very high. Ronaldo's gone up high with his foot. I don't know whether it was Sissoko tried to block him. Well, Liverpool are very unhappy about that decision. Hippia had a word with the referee. But Manchester United here are being given a chance of a reprieve. Ryan Giggs with the ball. Uh, certainly an angle for a left footer. Plenty in the centre. Oh, what's Neville doing? He's waving around. Where to go? Telling, telling Brown to join the wall, I think. Now then, there's a bit of nonsense going on in the wall. Howard Webb must sort this out. Go back a bit, boys. And Garcia has to be careful. He can't just push people out the way in there. This is Giggs. Oh. Um, that was Richardson and that was Rayner. Well, with nearly 85 minutes gone, Liverpool are close to something that hasn't happened for 85 years. Camp just come on. Oh, well, Luis Garcia, Brown did Weber so well there, otherwise, Gerard outside Garcia was away. Instead, it's Ronaldo. 
and Sahar. Jamie Carrigan. How many times have we said that today? Smith. Well, enjoy what's going to be a real climax here. Five minutes to go plus stoppage time. Liverpool 1, Manchester United 0. But memories of comebacks in times gone by. Gary Neville takes the throw. Up goes Sahar. Oh, that was Ronaldo just seizing on a loose ball and firing in a left foot shot with no back lift at all. You don't think Rainer saw that until quite late, did he? Well, if Manchester United are going to save this cup tie, it's going to come uh, in a period of the game when they've had a little bit more possession. Reeser. Headed on by Crouch. Back by Vidic. Now Liverpool don't want to be making any mistakes now. Cissé is going to join the action for the last few minutes. And I think it's going to be possibly for Crouch. Vanderson has come tearing out of his goal to say to the referee they're wasting time. Here's Ronaldo, Sahar, John Arna Risa. Here's Crouch now, he's still on at the moment. again beats Van Nistelrooy. Here's Giggs. Kromkamp gets a foot in. Forward by Finnan. Crouch and Brown. No flag. And uh, Rayner will come to collect it. As an ex-Liverpool man, how are you feeling? Oh, yeah, I just don't think there's a goal here somewhere. Let's see. That's a free kick to Liverpool. Now then. Cissé is definitely going to come on. I don't think it's Sissoko who's come to the line. I think he's getting instructions from Benitez. Um, I think Crouch is coming on. So, Cissé can go and take his place at the point of the attack because Liverpool are waiting to take a free kick. The stewards are walking meaningfully around the perimeter. In the 89th minute at Anfield. And they all sat down, the gentlemen in orange jackets, facing the crowd. Risa. Van Nistelrooy. Alan Smith's gone down injured, but Neville's long ball, and look where Rayner was. In fact, uh, Alan Smith wants attention halfway inside his own half. He's obviously got a real problem, John. Yes, they're all, they're all getting very anxious here. They want... They want uh, Medical help. It was. It was. He, it, what he did was he threw himself in the path of the shot from John Arnaresa, and obviously he seriously damaged himself because straight away he lay down and put his his hand up, went to the goalkeeper, get somebody on quickly. Well, it looks as though this could be a serious injury. We hope not. But let's see how it happened. Mark threw himself in the uh, face of the shot. Just wonder whether he's dislocated something by the sheer power of the shot there. Well, this will certainly extend the stoppage time because we're in the 90th minute here at Anfield and there's a lot of concern for Alan Smith. Of course, if he's 
so badly hurt, they're not going to move him, will they? No, the other thing as well, and it's good to see the Liverpool physio or doctors out there as well trying to help. Oh, yes. And uh, one or two of the Liverpool players as well bending over Alan Smith here. This is serious. Ferguson has gone to talk to Gary Neville down by the touchline. Uh, Park just... Yeah, Jason Park is waiting to come on, actually. This is what happened. Oh, it's a loose leg as well, wasn't it? Does he fall against Reese's? Yeah. No, I think it's just the power of the shot, John, which is... And his leg was sort of loose when it when he was hit. And obviously it's... Well, I hope it's just dislocated, but that's... What they're doing is that they're inflating that thing round his leg so they'll be able to carry him off. So they, so they don't displace anything when they actually carry him off. I've been there. Have you? Yeah. It must be a horrible experience. I mean, he knew the minute it happened, didn't he? Yeah. That was the thing. They say he went to Van der Sar and you know tried to draw the attention to him. It's just his, it's his right leg and it's sort of loose and ooh. Well, not the sort of drama we wanted or expected in the uh, 90th minute and beyond. So Alec Ferguson's team minutes away from elimination from the FA Cup, but more important perhaps at this moment, Alan Smith in terrible pain. And I'm not sure whether they can move him at the moment. Well, this is the hard bit now, just to lift him onto the stretcher. Well, I just hope it's not too serious, John, and that uh, he returns as quickly as possible. taken the two doctors and physios and stretcher bearers to sort this out and slowly now they will take Alan Smith off the field huge ovation from supporters of both teams hardly been on at any time at all has he no. a sad sight to see a player leave the field on a stretcher. He came on in the 76th minute, Alan Smith. And he goes off in what is now stoppage time. And Jason uh, Park replaces him for Manchester United. 7 minutes of stoppage time. Can that be right? I suppose the injury accounts for two or three of it. Yeah, sure. Well, 7 minutes for Manchester United to save themselves from... FA Cup elimination. Gerard. Cissé now the target up front. Forward by Vidic. Oh, and look at Saha! Well, the referee had already blown when Reynolds was blown for the foul, and Saha's. Rain is down now. It was a real difficult ball for him to control, wasn't it? Because it came sort of chest high to him and just couldn't quite get it right. His, his momentum just took him into the goalkeeper. I don't think there was any great problem about that. No, I think Rainer's going to be okay. Just for a minute, I thought he'd got in round the other side of the defender mark. Underneath this for Liverpool and Richardson for Manchester United. Park, Rooney. Van der Sar comes out now. They've got to try and get this forward as quickly as they can. Manchester United. Van Nistelrooy heads on. He nearly found Sahar, and Rooney was there too. Now then, 
This is Vidic. Liverpool lined up in two blocks of four. Five more minutes. We're going to get into the hundredth minute here, I think, at Anfield. Headed back to uh, Van der Sar by Giggs. And Manchester United just pumping it forward. Sahar again, and once more Rayner can collect. Just can't get the flick on right, Mark, can they? No, they can't. I mean, they've gone very much route one, and it is causing problems for Liverpool. But when the flick on comes, it just seems to be the wrong side of every Manchester United player. This is Cissé, Harmon. Gerard trying to curl the ball out to Luis Garcia. Not a time for tricks, I would suggest. Free kick. Harmon. Here's Brown. Well, that's three straight balls they played up front, and all three have virtually ran through to the goalkeeper, which is real waste. Liverpool are getting closer and closer. They've beaten them in terms of League Championships 1, they've beaten them in the Carling Cup in the final once, but they've never beaten Manchester United in the FA Cup in modern times. Not since just after the First World War. And the referee has penalised Garcia. Yeah, obstruction. Van der Sar comes out, as he often did in Holland in his early days, to play as the extra man. Sammy Hippier meets the ball. Kromkamp up in the air. These are agonising moments for Liverpool supporters, waiting and waiting, seeing how long Howard Webb is going to play. Is there hope yet for Manchester United? So often the comeback kings. Vidic, Ronaldo, Van Nistelrooy. It's a free kick. That's exactly what Liverpool would have wanted there. Well, that's exactly what Hamann played for as well, so just to kill some more time. It's a bit delivered in the corners, I would suggest, and Liverpool will try and push up, keep Manchester United in their own half. celebration going around Anfield they're waving from every possible corner except of course the Manchester United end Cromkamp that's it Howard Webber's blown for time and Liverpool have knocked Manchester United out of the FA Cup for the first time since 1921 85 years of hurt in this competition and Rafael Benitez has pulled it off to the delight of these Liverpool supporters. Peter Crouch got the goal in the 19th minute. And really, Mark Lawrenson said earlier, by their standards, Manchester United did not come out and play. Hardly troubled Rayner when you look back. Alan Smith badly injured, we fear. The final score in the fifth round cup tie. As Anfield rocks now, Liverpool won, Manchester United nil. So Liverpool going to the sixth round of the FA Cup, that draws on Monday lunchtime, Alan, uh, they deserved it, didn't they? Better side, better the chances, based on sound defence, the two centre-backs I thought were magnificent. In the middle of the park, Liverpool were totally dominant and that man came up with the goods, an all-important goal to get yep. them through. Gary, United didn't really have the answers. No, they were disappointed, be a better second half maybe, uh, a couple more efforts on goal, but overall Liverpool were the better team on the day. New, neutral aspect in, you thought that was the right result? I think so, yeah. I think Liverpool definitely deserved to win the game in the end. Um, I would have maybe started, I would have put Sahar on because he seemed to cause a little bit more problems trying to get up front with um, Van Nistelrooy. But I think it's Liverpool's day all, all end. We've just about got time to see the goal. Ah, there it is. Peter Crouch was the scorer in the 19th minute. Great ball in from Finnan. Comes Good in. Header. The keeper just made a magnificent save from a pure header. He gets a touch to that, but 
He's lost Vidic It's a there. valiant effort, but not good enough. Gents, uh, we've got to depart. There's more sport coming up. Um, uh, and more FA Cup action later as well. But here, uh, Liverpool have beaten Manchester United in the Cup, finally. Don't say it's easy to follow a process. There's nothing.